In this Excel video, I'm going to show you how to use ChatGPT, in other words, artificial intelligence, to unlock the hidden power of Microsoft Excel. Let's get started. For many Excel users, the idea of using this developer tab and creating macros using Visual Basic is just too much. It's too complicated, it reminds them of programming, and so they just give up and don't try it out. Well, I think that's a mistake, and I hope that after watching this video, you'll go back and watch my other macro videos, including the video on how to record a macro. It's very powerful and very doable. But in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use AI to program custom macros for you. This will unlock all sorts of possibilities for you and your spreadsheets. So here in this spreadsheet, I would like to create a macro that will automatically put in additional blank rows, maybe 10 or 15 blank rows into the spreadsheet. And I'm going to use chat GPT to help me do this. So I'm going to switch over to my browser and I'll go to chat GPT. Here it is. You can get to it at openai.com forward slash blog forward slash chat GPT. Once you're there, you can sign up or log in, and I'm just going to continue with my Google account. And if it's your first time logging in, you'll need to put in your birthday, and then click continue, and you'll need to verify your phone number. Once you've done that, you'll receive a text message with a code that you'll put in to verify your email address. Okay, at this point, I'm going to go here to chat GPT and it opens up a page that I can use for various things. And if there's more interest in chat GPT, I may create additional videos on this topic. But for now, I just want it to write an Excel macro for inserting multiple rows near the active cell. And I'll just tap enter on the keyboard and chat GPT is now writing that visual basic code for this macro. And not only did it write the code, it also gave me step-by-step -step instructions for using the code. So I'm just going to go up here to the code itself and I'll click copy code, jump back into Microsoft Excel. Now at this point, you need to make sure that you have the developer tab in your version of Excel. If you don't see that developer tab, go here to file, options, and customize the ribbon and just make sure that developer is checked and then click OK. All right, now that you've got the developer tab, you can click on it, get the developer ribbon, and then here there's a Visual Basic button in the code group. We need to use Visual Basic to do some programming. So I'm gonna click on Visual Basic and it opens up what looks to be a whole new program. It looks like we're out of Excel, but really we're using Visual Basic from within Excel. And this can be very intimidating for a lot of Excel users, but I can walk you through it. All you need to do at this point is go up to Insert Module and then paste in the code that was generated by ChatGPT. Now notice there are some options here. Set the number of rows to be inserted. Right now it's set to be five. I'm gonna change that to 15. And then I'm just gonna go here to File, Close and Return to Microsoft Excel. Now I'm back into Excel. This looks more familiar to me. And there's now one or two more steps to go. I'm gonna go here to the Developer tab, Developer ribbon, in the Controls group, I'm going to insert a button. If you'd like to learn more about these form controls and the buttons and checkboxes and scroll bars and stuff like that that you can add into Excel, please watch my other videos on those topics. But for now, I'm just gonna insert this button and I'll click and drag to actually place it on my spreadsheet. Next, I'm going to assign a macro to this button. And I only have one macro at this point. Here it is, I select it, click OK. So now this button one should be a working macro. Let's say I want to add some blank rows here. I can just click and then click the button one. And look, 15 blank rows have been added to the spreadsheet just above the cell that I had selected. Let's try it again. I'm gonna click here on a cell. I'll go up to the button, click on the button one, and 15 additional rows have been added to the spreadsheet. So our macro is working great. Now at this point, I could right click on the button and I could do some edits to the button. I could rename it and move it and things like that. If you want to learn how to do those kinds of things, please watch my other form controls videos. But for now, let's look at a couple other macros that I can have ChatGPT create for me. 
So I'll switch back to ChatGPT, and this time write an Excel macro for centering across selection. This is one of the best features in Microsoft Excel, but the downside is it's an option that's kind of hidden, and so I'm using artificial intelligence to write for me a simple macro that I can use to center across selection. Back in Microsoft Excel, I'll just click here on Visual Basic. I'll insert a new module, and I'll paste that in. I'll go to File, Close and Return to Microsoft Excel. Once again, I'll insert a button, assign that button to Center Across Selection Macro. Click OK. And now, if I want to center across selection, it's similar to Merge and Center. I can just highlight that range and then click Button 2, click OK, and now it's merged across selection. If I want to, I could merge across all of these cells, select them, click button 2. Now they're all merged into one giant cell. And for our third example, I'm going to switch to this blank sheet, and I'll jump back into ChatGPT, and I'm going to write an Excel macro that will put a gold star on the selected cell. I tap Enter, and ChatGPT is writing that macro for me, along with instructions. And then I can go up and copy the code, switch back into Excel. Again, I'll go to the Developer tab, Visual Basic, Insert, Module, paste in the code. Notice that I have some options that I can choose. But I'll just go to File, Close and Return to Microsoft Excel, and then Insert a button that I could name later if I want to. Assign this button to this exact macro. Click OK. And now, when I click on a cell and then click the button, I get a gold star. Click on another cell, click the button, get another gold star. At this point, if I wanted to change the text on the button, I could right click on the button and choose Edit Text. And I'll just type in gold star and I'll delete out the other text and then I can click away from that button and now it's the gold star button. Now whenever you create a macro in an Excel spreadsheet, something to be aware of is that if you want that macro to keep working in the future, you do need to go to file and save your project as not an Excel workbook with a .xlsx suffix, but instead as an Excel macro-enabled workbook, XLSM. If you don't do that, it's not going to be macro-enabled. I'll just give this a name, not very imaginative. I'll click Save, and now I can close that. And now when I close that spreadsheet and then open it up again, when I click Open, here it is, and I can double-click on that and my macro is intact. Notice that I do get a security warning. Macros by default are disabled when you open up the spreadsheet at the beginning, but you can then enable the content and now the macro will keep working. So it is important to know that if you're gonna use macros, if you want them to still be there and be usable the next time you use your spreadsheet, you do need to save it as a macro-enabled spreadsheet. So I hope you can see the potential in using ChatGPT to help you write macros that you can use that can be customized to exactly what you want in Microsoft Excel. Excel. It really can unlock a lot of capability, especially for people who aren't programmers and who don't want to delve into that world. I think it's great, but if you want a shortcut to it, you can use ChatGPT to generate the code for you. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, consider becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button. You'll get some nice features and be able to learn even more about technology and you'll learn more about my channel and have access to nice additional features. Consider clicking the thanks button below the video and also you could support me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch and you'll see more information about those options in the description below the video.